What is up, everyone? It's Ricky572. We're at Turner Chan. Today's August 19th, 2023. We're going to hop on and do a quick market watch. So I wanted to start off by showing you guys this image that's been going online. Most of you have probably already seen this, but this is the uncut sheet that's supposedly the 25th century uh, prismatic secret rares that are coming out in September. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to show you guys this. It's basically cards from like Battle of Chaos, uh, Dimension Force, uh, what was the other one? Tactical Masters? Was it Tactical Masters or, or something like that? What's that the right of Barmesia come in? That was Grand Creators. Grand Creators. Uh, Darkwing Blast. Is, no, Dark, it was Darkwing Blast. Yeah, I think Darkwing Blast was in this too. But yeah, we have Cash we have uh, We have uh, Therions. We have Water Enchanters. We have an Exosister Martha. Did this one come out in Darkwing Blast or Power of the Elements? I forgot which one it came out in, but I think it was Darkwing Blast. That's why it's in here. Uh... Do we have anything from Power of the Elements here? I, th I thought I saw a Power of the Elements card in here. I might be wrong about that, but let's see. Let me know if you guys see anything, because I, th I thought I saw something, but I guess not. We have Runic Tips. We have Illusion of Chaos. We have the Blue Eyes Jet Dragon right here, which we expected to get reprinted. It was around like $40, so thank God that got reprinted. Uh, we have Visa Star Frost. Did I say Cashier already? We got Cashier. Uh, let's see, we have a Scar Claw, a Scare Claw. We have the Cartesia, and uh, yeah, we, there's some good reprints in here. We have Lubellion right here. Uh, but yeah, we're not going to be taking a look at too many of the cards from this set, uh, uh, from this image, because uh, most of them are going down in price right now. Just We're just going to take a look at a couple. We're still uh, waiting on the Ultra Rares, and I think Comments come in this too, right? Yeah, we're still waiting on the Ultra Rares and Comments, but yeah, just wanted to show you guys the Prismatic Secrets, if you guys haven't already seen it. Supposedly, this is real, so I'm going to just go with that, because everyone's like selling stuff on the market right now, uh, and getting rid of things, so I'm going to just go with it. it's real. I'd rather be safer than sorry at this point. Uh, but yeah, starting off today's Market Watch, we got Cashier of Fenrir. This card was sitting around like the... 30 ish dollar price point and it started dipping down i saw it as low as like 25 dollars and right now we have 90 listings on a market we have listings at 849 1975 with shipping so basically 20 dollars now uh honestly i was thinking about getting rid of mine but i don't want to go through through the trouble of picking more up later on and i might use mine so i'm gonna keep mine instead of selling but if you are uh, not using the cash here Fenrir, I would get rid of it and try to get the most value out of it while you can. Uh, $20 is still good enough for me because uh, once that Prismatic Secret Rare comes out, I can see the drop to like the $10 price point. Next up, we have the Biceo Lebellion. Uh, this one was sitting at a high price point. Well, a couple, a couple, maybe like a m month ago, it was around like the $60 price point. And today we have it at 92 listing. We have listing starting at $32.99. Uh, $32.99, $33.99 with shipping, $34.24, $34.25, $34.95, dollars so it's under $35 now. Uh, I would wait to pick this up if you if you are planning to pick this up, because I see I can see this at like the $20 price point, because we do have the Prismatic Secret Rare coming. Uh, the Prismatic Secret Rare is probably going to be like under $10, so I would wait on that one. Illusion of Chaos, hopefully uh, you didn't pick these up uh, earlier in the week when they were like $40. Uh, so these are 54 listings right now and have dropped down to the $22.99 price point, $23.50, $25.85, $25.99, and $26.78. So they basically dropped down to like half price. Uh, I would hold off on picking this up still because it's above $20 and the reprint is probably going to be like under $10. But yeah, let me know how you guys feel about the reprints. Do you guys think it's real? Uh, a lot of people are saying it is, so I'm going to just go with that like I said. Uh, but yeah, let me know uh, what cards you guys are excited for from these reprints. Let me go back to it. Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Is it behind this? Nope, that's eBay. That's something else I was doing. Uh, yeah, let me know which one of these are you guys excited for. And let me know what you guys think are going to be the ultra rare reprints and common printings from this set. Next up, we have a couple cards from Duelist Nexus that I've seen going up in price a little bit. So I saw that Dark, Dark Corridor, Dark World Searcher card has been going up a little bit. These were sitting under $10 a couple of weeks ago. Well, about a week ago, because it just came out. And right now we have 36 listings on the market, so it's kind of going low on listings. And we have it at $11.68, $11.99, so reaching the $12 price point. This one, once these $12 copies are gone, we hit the $14 price point at $13.95, $13.98, and that's basically $13.99. So almost hitting that $14 price point. 
Uh, if you guys don't have this, I think it's a safe card to pick up because um, it only has one printing and it's probably not going to get a reprint until like next year's 10s. So you do have some time to play with it and it could only go up from here. I don't think it'll go down because it is a new Dark World card and it does search. So if you guys don't have this, I will pick up my copies now before they go up even higher because they are going low on listings. Unchained Soul Lord of Yama I think is another good pickup from the Duelist Nexus set. It's been going up in price uh, since its release. It was around like $5. Right now we have 52 listings on the market. And we have listings starting at $8.50 with shipping, $8.83, $8.84, $8.87, $8.90. So going up to that $90, I mean $9 price point, $8.95 on the first page. And I only, I think this card could, um, keep going up in price i think you run two of these or maybe only one let me know down in the comments if you play unchained but the deck has been pretty consistent and has been topping events so that's the reason i think it's a good pickup if it continues to good, do good this card will definitely uh continue to go up in price but uh it's also a nice pickup just because you could splash the engine in different builds i heard that people have been thinking about splashing it in labyrinth so that's one of the things you could do uh with the with the package but let me know down in the comments down below how you guys feel about Unchained Soul Lord of Yama. Chimera the King of Phantom Beasts is the other card I wanted to talk about from Duelist Nexus that has been going up in price. And I think this is the second most expensive card aside from like the quarter century rares. Because we do have Revolution Synchron uh, at uh, being the secret rare at like 60 ish dollars. And then we have this one being the runner up at like $20. But I think this card could go up even higher in price. Because we are still missing one fusion monster for the chimera package that's coming out in age of overlord so i think the closer we get to that set this card is going to uh, go up in price even higher uh when we get closer to that release uh but we have this card right now 16 listings it was selling for like around 13 15 dollars i did pick some up around like the 13 15 dollar price point but right now we have them at 2161 with shipping 2195 2197 so basically 22 dollars 2199 2199 and yeah, basically $22, $23 for this card now. And it could go up pretty easily because we have no big walls on the first page here. So I would say pick up your copies now before they go up even higher. And this card has been seeing a lot of play in branded builds. But I think it could be splashing more more um, other, other archetypes, other decks, uh, just aside from like just branded. So that's something to think about. But if I were you guys, I would pick up my copies now. Let me know how you guys feel though. Since everyone is expecting Cashier to get hit, uh, Pure Leaves is the next deck that people are thinking that's going to be like the top deck of the format. So people are picking up Exceed Encore once again. We have them going low on listings. We only have two printings for this card and both are in Ultra Rare. We have the Judgment of the Light version right now at 18 listings. We have, uh, let's see, they start at $14.49, $14.50 with shipping, $16.99, $17 and going up to that $20 price point. And then the other version, we have a nine listings. This is the 2014 Mega 10 version. We have them going up to 1525, 6, 1699, and also hitting that $20 price point. And they did have a dip. They did reach like the, I guess under $10 price point, uh, cause they weren't really seeing, well, no, no, they were seeing play. But they got hit and people expected them to like not perform as well. So people got rid of their Exceed Encore and stopped playing it. But now they're starting to pick it back up, realizing that it's still a pretty good deck. But yeah, let me know how you guys feel about Exceed Encore. Do you guys think this card will stick at its uh, $15, $20 price point? Or is it going to come back down later? With Revolution Synchron being released, people have been looking at different level 7 options that they could synchro into. Uh, basically, Ancient Fairy Dragon is the popular tech right now because Ancient Fairy Dragon uh, lets you pop and search a field spell and also gives you access to an extra normal summon or is it special summon? I forgot which one it does, but it lets you do get another summon. But yeah, Ancient Pixie Dragon is another level 7 synchro monster that you could use Revol Revolution Synchron in the hand with. Basically, you summon a level 4. And if you have Revolution Synchron in the hand, you could use it as material for a level 7 Synchro monster or a level 8. Uh, so Ancient Pixie Dragon was sitting around the... Let's see. It was sitting around 3 to $4. And what does it do? It says, uh, during your turn, if a field spell is activated, draw one card. So it lets you draw a card. That's not too bad. You can use the effect of Ancient Pixie Dragon once per turn. Once per turn, if, this, if there is a face of field spell card on the field you could target one face of tech position monster on the field destroy that target okay that's not too bad 
So it lets you destroy and it lets you draw a card. So that's not a bad uh, tech option to have in like the extra deck if you have the space for it. Uh, 25 listings on the market right now and we have listings right now at six dollars uh that's 665 with shipping that's seven dollars then they go up to 825 so yeah they are starting to go up a little bit higher uh they were at like four to five dollars so it's just a tech that people have been looking at the triple tactics rest isn't getting a reprint until like next year so i can see this card going up in the next couple months we do still have like ycs's and reading those coming up so people are going to pick this card up to play at events we have 48 listings on the market and this card was going under 70 dollars after the ultimate rare uh, release but it looks like it's starting to bounce back up we have 7099, 7396, 7497,7498, and 75,74. So basically a $75 card right now. But yeah, let me know how you guys feel about Triple Tactics Thrust. Are you guys gonna be picking this up or are you guys gonna be staying away from it? Joe and Lockbird has a couple printings, but I wanted to focus on the Tactical Masters printing. It's a rare and it just came out. This card was sitting at like $1.50 on release, and hopefully you guys picked up your copies then. Uh, they did have a slight increase to like the $3 price point, but over the past month, they've been going up even higher. And I think that's because people have been choosing to play Joel and Lockbird over Ash Blossom this format because it's more impactful. We have 45 listings on the market, and basically we have them sitting at uh, $538 with shipping, $540 with shipping, $542 with shipping, and that's five fifty with shipping, five dollars and seventy. So almost hitting the seven. It's a six dollar price point. It's between five to seven dollars now. Hopefully this does get a reprint in the twenty fifth century tenth because it is from Tactical Masters, and Tactical Masters does have a. Uh, it is listed to be reprint, reprinted in the twenty fifth century tens that you got as you guys saw from the picture I showed you guys. We do have Runic Tip in there. We did have Fountain and other cards from there. So hopefully this card gets like a common printing in that set. But if it doesn't, then we're gonna be stuck with having to pay the five to six dollar price point for these rare uh, draw and lock birds. Because after that we have commons for like six to seven dollars. Rare another copy, another rare copy from Star Strike Blast at like six seven dollars. Then we have Premium Gold at like eight nine dollars. Ultra Rare is going up even higher than that, and Super Rare is too. Uh, but yeah, let me know how you guys feel about Joe and Lockbird. Do you guys think it's going to get a reprint in the 25th Century 10s, or will we be stuck paying this uh, high price point for them? And last card on today's Market Watch is going to be Big Welcome Labyrinth. So I think I talked about this card about two to three Market Watches ago and told you guys to pick it up because it was a good buy at like 6 to $7. It looks like right now we only have a couple copies around like that 6 to $7 price point. Then they quickly go up to $8.49. Uh, and then they hit 868 right here on the first page. So if you guys don't have your copies of this yet, I think it's still a good pickup because I can see this card reaching the 15 to $20 price point. Since a lot of the other Labyrinth cards are getting reprinted in the 25th century tens, and this card isn't gonna get a reprint until like probably next year. And we do still have that new Labyrinth monster coming out in Age of Overlord. So I think this card was gonna is gonna uh, reach its highest price point then when we get that new uh, monster and age of overlords but yeah right now it's a good pickup so if you guys if you guys don't have it yet pick it up uh that's gonna be it for today's market watch though make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel also go follow us on instagram tiktok and x at return of the chance this is ricky 572 we'll see you guys next time